Hey, my name is Matt Storr and I repair saxophones for a living. And today I wanted to talk to you about some changes that YouTube is making that uh, if you're a viewer of this channel, it's gonna affect your experience. I wanted you to know that's coming from YouTube and not from me. Now, YouTube ads, creators up until now have had a choice of how many to put on. Now, I've always put the minimum on, like one skippable ad before the video. Um, so when you see YouTube videos and there's unskippable ads, you know, two of them in the front, one in the middle, one at the end, like that's the choice of the creator. And I've never really tried to maximize revenue through my YouTube channel. It's not my living, right? I make my living fixing saxophones. I use YouTube as a method to like spread the good word about fixing saxophones, about how cool they are, how they're worth fixing, how to do it, right? Like you know, people either are going to hopefully become more interested in, you know, fixing saxophones or they're going, if they're saxophone fixers, maybe it'll help them, right? And information in this business has not like flowed very freely um, throughout time until, you know, more so recently, thanks to the internet. But the internet is changing and ads are kind of showing up uh, in places where they didn't used to and more often and so forth. And um, YouTube, recently sent an email where it's like, uh, we're streamlining the experience for creators. And the fine print is that there's no more options on what ads to put on your video. They're gonna make that decision. And of course, their incentive is to maximize revenue. So unskippable ads, especially because a lot of my videos are long, right? I'm long-winded. This was supposed to be like a 45 second video. It's probably already two minutes long. Um, they'll put ads in the middle and at the end, now, I think I still have the ability to select no ads, but if I turn ads on at all, then YouTube decides what to put there. Um, and it's probably gonna be more than you're used to seeing. Now, I've got YouTube Premium. I have for a long time because, you know, me and my kids watch like little scientific videos and maker videos and stuff on YouTube. The kind of stuff that I think YouTube is awesome at that like aren't specifically for kids, but kids like like, you know, how do they build roller coasters, right? And there'll be crazy weird ads that I really don't want to expose like my kids to. So I've always had YouTube premium. And so therefore I just watch YouTube, no ads and it's great, but like not everyone wants to do that. Um, and I understand from hearing from others that the experience of watching YouTube without YouTube premium is just getting worse and worse and worse. And they're about to take away, you know, my choice in the matter and start making, you know, the ads on my videos to be the ones that are the real kind that are the pain in the ass. Um, now I could maybe put no ads on my videos, but then like what incentive would YouTube have to like host them? Right. I mean, perpetuity is a big word, but like, what if I got hit by a bus tomorrow? Like, should these stay up for a while so people can learn from them? Like, I hope so. I hope they'll be up for a long time. I'm not writing a book. You can't put this on your shelf, right? This is hosted by Google. Like it's their call. So I'm not sure exactly what I'll do, but you know, I think I'll keep making videos. Um, I don't really want to put them anywhere else. Um, like, you know, I spend, I've, I've gotten very busy the past few years. I've got kids, you know, I've got two kids and um, I'm trying to like live a life and work a lot. And this is, the videos have always kind of been a hobby and I don't think I've really got it in me to like learn how to be like an Instagram person or a TikTok person or whatever's gonna come after that. I think I probably just wanna stay here. But so that, so things are going to change. Um, if you have any suggestions, comments, questions, um, you know, I'm, I've been doing saxophone repair for about 20 years now. And I've been doing videos for, I think 15, close to 15. Um, you know, I'm probably getting a little bit, uh, you know, set in my ways and I could probably, you know, probably change with the times a little bit more than I have been, but it is what it is. Um, but you know, if anyone has any suggestions, questions, comments, feedback, feel free to leave it below in the comments. Um, I will not put ads on this video. And I think the changes don't take effect until like November anyways, but that's coming up pretty soon. And I don't think they're gonna do it retroactively, at least at first to all my old videos, but I wouldn't be surprised to see that happen. So if there's any data hoarders out there, like maybe download them all. My internet's too slow. I mean, I don't think I have them backed up, not all of them anyways because I've made them over so such a long period of time. Um, I mean, the first ones I was making on like a camera, right? And now they're all made on my phone, so they automatically get backed up, but like the early ones, 
up until 2015, 2017 probably. Um, those are not back though. So anyhow, that's what's up. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, see you soon.